off and pacing, that's Honey Leg going right out for the lead. Up on the outside, Gothic Lady is second, racing third, into the turn. Mullen Hanover, round the turn, fourth on the outside, Raging Heart, racing fifth, Magical Dreamer, treading the field, best of Verde, as they race around the turn, going to the first quarter mark. Bunny Lake and John Stark Jr., they're in their normal spot on top. Opening quarter, 27 and two. Passing a stand of the first team, coming to the three-eighths mark. Mullen Hanover right there, second. Gothic Lady pacing third. He entered the clubhouse turn, raging hard fourth. Magical Dreamer fifth. Best of early trails, all in straight alignment as they race into the turn and go to the halfway point. Bunny Lake, 17 of 19 this season, leads them over to the halfway point. 57 and 2, second quarter and 30 seconds flat. Mullen Hanover and Mark Kismoto right there, second. Gothic Lady and Dave Pallone pacing third. Down the backside they go. Raging hard. Luke Willat sits fourth, racing fifth. Magical Dreamer and Alessandro Spano treading the field. Best of Ernie and George Brennan still straight alignment. Everybody content to chase Bunny Lake. Three quarters, 125 and 4. 28 and 2 backside and Bunny Lake opens up by two. Mullen Hanover is second. Gothic Lady third. Raging Heart comes to the outside fourth. Down the stretch she comes. Bunny Lake and John Stark Jr. with the lead. Gothic Lady goes to the lightning lane. Coming to the wire. Bunny Lake number 18 on the year. One. 54 and 2. To Bunny Lake, W Springtime Racing Stable of Johnstown, New York. John Stark Jr. trains and drives. The three year old Philly Preparation, Bunny Lake Nana. Winner denied, 154 and 2. Final half, 57. Final quarter, 28 and 3. How about 17 in a row? How about 18 of 20? How about 26 of 32? How about 1,387,000 lifetime? She's the best. Bunny Lake. Trackside Ed Rogers, one of our racing commissioners here in Pennsylvania, presenting the trophy to the owners of the W Springtime Racing Stable of Johnstown, New York. And the top three-year-old Philly Pacer in harness racing this year, Bunny Lake. Oh, with the Roger, and they brought one of the finest Phillies we've seen. Congratulations, Wendy and Art Spring from Johnstown. Art, tell us a little bit about it. Is it more nerve-wracking for her or you? For me, of course. Uh, this Philly's been a dream come true. She's really an exceptional filly. She's done everything we've asked her. Uh, she can go from off the gate. She can, and naturally, she can leave if she demonstrates. It's hard not to leave with her because she has such tremendous gate speed like her sire. But she can come off the gate. And when you do leave with her, she will come back to you. She's just been a treat for us to see. The first time the Lady Maud comes to the Meadows and you brought one of the great superstars in the sport. What, what kind of year has it been, frankly? A dream year. We, we realized that this will probably never happen again. And we've been in the business for a lot of years. We've started with cheap claimers, and we've had our share of disappointments in our stake horses. So we've waited a long time for this, so we really do appreciate it. We're enjoying it. I understand a trip to Cleveland for the Courageous Lady is next, and then down to Dover for the Matron. Will we see her in 2002, Art? Most definitely, as long as she stays sound and healthy. Let's hope. We have seen one of the great harness horses in the sport of harness racing here tonight. And Roger, you are correct. This is the three-year-old Philly Pace for the year. And who knows? I think horse of the year a little bit wide open. She may have won some votes tonight. Gentlemen. 210. 210. The four Gothic Lady. 210. 